Hello, beautiful. You look stunning. Look in a mirror and look at yourself. So gorgeous that you make me nervous. And that's the truth. Thank you for being here. Today we're watching people go from really light hair to really dark hair. And you guys know I like blonde hair. It gives me bright, gorgeous, fabulous vibes. And brown hair does the same when it's done right. So hopefully the hair transformations we watched today are done right and they actually look super vibrant and just as gorgeous as their blonde hair. So I'm a little nervous because you know, people like to get on my case about liking blonde hair. The comments are probably gonna be flooded with comments being like, Brad only likes people with blonde hair. I'm sorry, it's not true. And I'll hopefully prove that to you today. Let's watch some people go from blonde to brown slash black. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by Lily Corcoran, and this is called Dying My Hair Blonde to Brown at Home Gone Wrong. Mm. Lily, what happened? Hey guys, welcome back. So I know I've only been blonde for about three weeks. Did I hear that right, Lily? You've only been blonde for three weeks? Honestly, though, same. Like, that's something I would do is like, I tried to be mad for just that second, but I was like, you know what? Cut this girl some slack, cause you be doing the same shit, Brad. You be doing the same shit. Brad, so don't. So, I'm dying about to die at home. Is that box dye I just saw? Is that Lily? Lily? That's what I saw, and that is not what I'm liking. I thought it'd be quite easy. I thought I could just dye my hair back brown with this brown hair dye, but you can't because it will go green. Lily did some research before doing this. Girl! I love you, oh my God. It will go green. If you just go in with some really dark color, you need to fill all the missing pigment in your hair. We have to dye it. Red first. Oh. <laughs> red. This looks like a very intense red. Hopefully she's doing a very dark brown or else this very intense red was not necessary. An orange probably would have been fine. But <laughs> she's literally putting box dye over box dye. Both of those have very high ammonia contents and can be very damaging, especially a high lift red color. Girl. You could have just filled your hair with like a semi-permanent color or, you know, it just depends on each situation on how you want to fill the hair. But this <laughs> is the worst idea. I can't believe I've got damn hair red. I feel sorry I feel like if any hairdressers are gonna watch, it's gonna stink, isn't it? I'm not living for this blonde on her, I must say. Like, I wish she had a more of like a root going on. Maybe she would have looked better with like balayage, some highlights, just something that isn't so all over. And I think this color is a bit too warm for her. Seemingly like, I don't know, it's hard to tell on this video right now, but more cool tone skin, neutral even. <gasps> Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Don't section it out or anything. Why would we do that? We're already starting to change color. It is getting real, real fast. This application method is not it for me and it never will be it and it'll never be up to my standards. I'm sorry guys, but try harder. Holy sh her hair is so bright. She's gonna have a hard time covering that red with um, a light brown color. It seems like she's somehow getting most of her hair colored. The color she's using is a little bit liquidy, so that's good. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I've just got out the shower, just washed out the red hair dye. I know it's a bit, it's a bit blonde in place still, but hopefully the brown covers up. You definitely managed to miss a lot of pieces of your hair, so. Good job, girl. <laughs> the red is actually not a bad color um, to put underneath this. It's actually not as vibrant as I looked when she was coloring. It's a little more faded, a little more orangey, which is actually a pretty good color to fill with. And when I say fill, I mean the process of going red before brown or orange before brown or whatever you need to do. Holy sh I look back over and all of a sudden, what is this? Oh my God, I really hope it doesn't stay in my head. It's going to stay in your head. It looks like she did some face painting. I've seen my fair share of people covering their faces and necks with color during these Hair Just Reacts videos, but this is probably one of the worst. She literally colored her entire neck and entire forehead with brown dye. How did we manage to do that? Hey guys, so it's the next day. Ah! What? My finished hair. It's a lot darker than I wanted it to be. <laughs> I wanted it more of like a my natural colour, like a medium brown, but it's nearly black and it's still got bits of red in it from when I 
spread before. It kind of looks like your natural color at the root. Brad Mondo, any hairdressers that are watching, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Not okay. I'm just kidding, it's actually fine. I'm interested to see what it would look like in person because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of missing, there's gonna be a little spotting going on because of the lack of sectioning. However, I actually like the darkness on you. I like it a lot better than the blonde. I don't mind this color. I think adding some highlights in with this brown, some kind of natural sun-kissed highlight would look really good and just bring out the warmth in your skin and make you a little bit more glowy and fresh and just adding dimension to brown hair, I think is always great. Decent job, like I'm glad she at least, well, I mean, not that great of a job, but she literally followed one direction, which is to fill the hair before you go dark from blonde. That's all I can get today. I'm taking it, you know? Let's move on to the next video. Next video is by Esther Perpetchkin, and this is dyeing my blonde hair black. Also, I gave myself a haircut. Oh no. I'm dyeing my hair black and giving myself a nice trim. I know there was mixed reviews on this. Like some of you were like, no, you're such a beautiful blonde. And then some of you guys were like, heck yeah, go for it. I say heck yeah, go for it. I'm with that team. As you can see, my natural hair is kind of like a light brown, um, medium brown. So hopefully when it grows out, it doesn't look too bad. I really like her blonde hair. <laughs> I don't know. This blonde's really pretty and her hair s looks like it's in great shape. I'm gonna be sad to see it go, but I also love a change. So, you know what I mean? Oh, I love seeing dead ends go. But we're here for the brown today. Okay, I'm gonna put a towel over my back just to be clean. Wait, you're telling me that they don't recommend to fill your hair first? I mean, it's just dark color that you're gonna put over your very light blonde hair. Luckily, your hair doesn't look too porous and too dry, so you might get lucky and might not pick up green or end up with a weird yucky tint to it. And we're going for it. We're starting on the ends. I mean, I definitely wouldn't do that. I definitely would like section out very, very small slices of hair. That way you know that you're not gonna get any spotting. When it comes from going blonde to really dark brown or black, you really have to be careful because if you miss one little spot, that spot will stick out so much because it's so much lighter than the dark hair. Even if you're really cautious about your application method, sometimes it still happens. So this is definitely gonna have spotting. And we're literally going black right now without filling and I'm horrified. It's gonna look so hollow. And if you don't know what that means, like what does hollow mean? It just means that there's like no life to it. There's no depth to the color. And that's probably what's gonna happen. It's probably gonna be more of like a grayish black color. Oh my Lord, this application is so scary. And we're literally painting our face again. Why is our face painted? I am a freaking mess, but I'm going to- You guys. All this stuff while I'm waiting. Be careful. <laughs> Instead of pulling the hair down onto your face while you put the color on, pull it back, you know? You know what I mean? Doesn't that make more logical sense? Is it just me? Is it just me? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Such a big You're difference. Right. But here's my hair, guys. And I don't regret it because I only live once and I need to experience dark with my hair because I feel like I don't do that often. But I will say one thing it definitely is bringing out my eyes a lot more. She definitely looks gorgeous. Like, definitely. I do kind of like the blonde better. And listen, girl, if you're watching this, do whatever makes you happy. It's not about what makes me happy, but I would have liked a color that wasn't so dark, like, you know, brown, but without being black. Also, definitely the fact that you didn't fill the hair, you're seeing a lot of blue and it's looking a bit gray. And that is because the proper steps were not taken in order to achieve this really dark brown color. I don't see much richness to the color or like vibrancy or shininess. But other than that, I think your eyes look gorgeous. You look amazing. Like, I feel like I feel sexier and darker hair. I'm into it and I'm happy you're into it and not a very great job <laughs> with the coloring method though. Let's not do that again. Okay, let's move on to the next video, shall we? Our next video is by Casey and this is called Going From Blonde to Brown at Home, Fail. One. I can't afford to get my hair done anymore, so I'm going to dye it brown myself. <laughs> this hurts me. This is hurting me. Please release me from the pain. Her hair is so pretty. 
why are we doing anything? Like, I know, like, ugh, you should just let it grow. Like, your roots look fine. Like, what? You look like a hair model. Like, it looks so good. First, I have to take all these hair extensions out. Oh. <laughs> oh. They're really grown out. It's hair extensions. I am not that upset anymore. I thought that was her real hair. It actually looked really real. So I got this Ion Light Intense Brown. Okay, so we're, again, we're not filling the hair. Damn it. Okay, well, whatever. It's a pretty light brown, so she might get lucky. And I'm gonna try to keep some like blonde highlights. So I'm literally just gonna wrap foil on the pieces that I don't wanna dye. Uh, and if it doesn't look good, I'll just go back and make it all brown in the end. She wants to keep some highlights, which I think is a great idea. And I think that her hair will look better and more dimensional and just a little more professionally done if she leaves some of this blonde out. But what she's gonna need to do is after she leaves the blonde out, rinses the whole thing, she's gonna need to then do a glaze or a toner over the other uh, pre-existing blonde pieces that she left out. Otherwise, it's going to be like a dark brown with a light blonde and it's gonna look way too stripey, I think. We'll see what she does. I really hope this looks good and it's not just a waste of time. Sometimes what stylists will do is use conditioner and paint foils um, that we don't want to color when bringing somebody from blonde to brown. Okay, we're working our way around. We are coloring the hair brown. And I'm glad she chose like a lighter brown to do. This is looking like a school science project. <laughs> I'm done and now I'm gonna wash my hands and leave it on for 20 minutes. I'm pray. This looks like we left out a lot of hair. Like we are about to have a stripey moment going on. I already know it. I saw the hair dye all over me, but I washed my hair. So let's see how it looks. Oh, not bad so far. It doesn't look that bad right now that it's wet. She needs to dry this because I need to know what this looks like immediately. Oh, and there it goes. All my hopes and dreams gone. Just like that. <gasps> Those banging pieces are really. <sighs> Those are. Whoa, girl! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, <laughs> No. I should have just done all brown. Yeah. Like, this is really bad. Oh no, see, it didn't work out well. When a stylist would do this, we would pick a pattern where we're leaving out the blonde pieces and make sure it is the exact same on both sides and make sure, you know, you wouldn't necessarily want to do like the very top of the hair or else you're gonna get like this stripiness. You know, it'd be better if you had a layer of brown covering that left out blonde piece. That would have gave you that more like sun-kissed look. But I hope we're gonna fix this. It's not that bad. If, if you flip it, it's bad. Oh, it's so bad. I'm sorry. I don't really need a lot of hair dye. I don't want to make the brown even darker. I mean, you should really be saturating nicely. This looks like it's dry. <laughs> oh, God, this is still just... Mm. Here we go again. Please look better. Dirt around on my shirt. Okay, what are our first impressions? I can already see where the highlight was. It's brown now, but maybe because I either missed it or because I dyed my hair twice, my hair is darker. It's really dark brown. You didn't put enough color on, you didn't. Maybe once I add some extensions. I'm hoping they match, I ordered them. All right, so she bought some extensions and let's see the final look. Okay. I mean, I definitely like it better with the extensions. However, they don't exactly match, but that's okay. You look fabulous, like whatever, you know? Next time, let's just do more research, figure out the best way for you to do this. Maybe ask for some advice from somebody who knows what they're doing. I don't know. Next time, don't do such a warm, dark color and also fill your hair before you go dark. There's so many things that could have been done better. So I don't know. Definitely cute at the end. So, woo! So those videos definitely threw me for a loop today. A lot was done wrong and little done right, but that's okay. We live and we learn. So 
Oh well. If you're not already subscribed, you can hit the button right below. Also click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. You can follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. I'm everywhere, dude. If you'd like to text me, this is my number. You can text me right here. It really connects to my phone. Yes, I really do see a lot of your messages. If you text me right now, you may receive a text back from me personally. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you like to shop my Live Your Extra Life merch, you can do so now at xmonohair.com. It is also linked below. It is so comfy, you guys. I always wear the most uncomfortable outfits when I film. When I give myself a hoodie day, I am so happy about it. <laughs> Make sure to check out my hair care line at xmondohair.com. I am wearing super red in my hair by xmondo color. You can check out our hair care and our color on that website. You can also get some hair inspiration on our Instagrams at xmondohair for hair care and at xmondo color for hair. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Stephanie. She said, I would absolutely love to know what you think I should do to my do so I can get my groove back. Girl, Literally, I love that. Stephanie, I love your do. I do. I think just retouching your roots, bringing some extra bits of blonde into your hair, making it really nice and bright and light, and a little trim, just very, very little, and adding some beach waves with a curling iron, I think would look so good on you. Definitely try that, and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.